Okay folks, welcome to yet another interesting review video on this channel. In today's video, we'll be reviewing Saramo and Chimo, its pros and cons, whether it's legit or not, and finally, whether you should invest your money in it or not. So if that sounds good to you, then be sure to stick around all the way to the end of the video. If you are new to this channel, here we review businesses, websites and apps, we talk about how to make money online and finally we throw in a few videos about investing and personal finance. So if that sounds good to you, then go ahead and smash that red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be informed when we put out new videos. So with that out of the way, let's head straight into today's video. Sari Mall is an international online shopping mall just like eBay, Alibaba, Jumia, Amazon, Kiko and many more. Please, if you are from China watching this video, you have to forgive me for my pronunciation. The company originated from China since 2008, founded by Mr. Zhang Yao, who is acclaimed to be part of the first 10 entrepreneurs in China. And as such, it was launched in Africa on the 29th of March 2019, precisely in Ghana, with its head office in Accra. It started effective business in April 2019. Chimol, on the other hand, is an offshoot of CHY Century Hengiao Group with its African head situated in Accra, Ghana. Chimol is currently in 17 countries including Nigeria and is rapidly expanding. With regard to the company, Chimol gives 80% of its profit to its members. The company uses an e-commerce system called New Retail System where members can buy and sell products online. On May 26, 2020, both companies, that is Sarimo, and Chimo got merged and there was an official communication on the partnership with strong statements of both entity CEO Zhang Yan for Sarimo and Ben Cha for Chimo. They said they looked forward to partnership as they plan to become the Alibaba of Africa. Are you still with me? That was just background information. Now we get into the juicy part of this video. Now here lies the problem. Mr. Zhang Yao, who is the founder of Sarimo, is projected as one of the top 10 entrepreneurs in China. But upon further digging, I find out that Mr. Zhang Yao is not even among the first 1,000 business people in China. He is nowhere online except on posts made by Ghanaian business affiliates. He has no public profile online. So if no one like Mr. Zhang Yao exists, is it possible that Sari Mo is of Ghanaian origin since their head office in Africa resides there? If this were the case, then this raises even further questions as regards the origin of the products they sell. Secondly, it is also said that Sarimo has been in existence since 2008 in China as an e-commerce company. But upon further digging also, I found out that no such company existed anywhere in China since 2008. It was created in 2019 in Ghana by Ghanaians, possibly with a Chinese undertone. On the other hand, there seems to be an excess of information about the CEO of Chimo. His profile and internet presence is much less obscure, making Chimo look much more legit. Here's what I found about Mr. Ben, the founder of Chimo. Ben is responsible for leading and developing the Gross Venor business and capability in Asia. Ben joined Gross Venor in 2014. And I've been a property investor and developer in the Asian Pacific region throughout his career. Before joining Gross Venor, Ben was managing director, head of global real estate, Greater China. Okay. I felt all that information was unnecessary. You probably don't need it. All you really want to know is if you can invest your money in Chimo or not. However, if you do need that information, I'll leave it in the description box below. Please, if you're getting some value out of this video, go ahead and tap that like button. It helps this video get favored in the eyes of the YouTube algorithm and in turn, it helps this channel grow. So just smash the like button until it turns blue. Alright, back to the video. Like I said earlier, since the merger happened, both Saramo and Chimo have proceeded to be one and the same company. Before I continue this video, I have to add that Saramo has been paying its affiliates since April 2019. I have friends and family who are actively involved in Saramo and have made a ton of money from it. So it has definitely been paying its investors. I'm going to leave a phone number of one of its affiliates in the description box. Contact him if you wish to invest. Disclaimer. I am neither an affiliate nor an investor in Saramo or Chimo. And the WhatsApp number which I will be dropping in the description box isn't mine or that of anyone who is working at the background of this channel. I am dropping the phone number for some of you that may want to invest your money or who desire to know more about Saramo and Chimo. The owner of the phone number has been an investor in Saramo for over a year and has made a ton of money from the business. He is really knowledgeable about the business and part of the material for this video came from an interview with him. His name is Mr. Maxwell. So I think he will be able to answer any further questions you may have and these are the reasons why i decided to drop his contact in the description box of this video so do contact him on whatsapp if you have further questions or if you want to invest in Saramo and chimo all right that said 
Let's talk about the business model. Sari Mall Group of Companies or Sari Group International Holdings is an online shopping mall which features a business model called New Retail plus the normal e-commerce like Jumia, Alibaba, Konga, Gigi, Amazon, ETC. Think of the New Retail as a centralized version of dropshipping. Sari Mall gives 80% profit to partners via the new retail model. I can imagine that the motivation of most businesses is to make profit. And if this is the case, why would the company give 80% of its profit to its affiliates? Perhaps this is a strategy to get and keep their affiliates. I don't know for sure. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. Like I said in the beginning of this video, this business has already made few millionaires in Africa, precisely Ghana and Nigeria, now extending to South Africa, Zambia and Cameroon. Why is it targeted at Africans? I stumbled across a video of people who are in Europe, precisely Germany, and who wanted to be part of Chimel company, but they were asked to register via UK. Why? Does this mean that Chimel hasn't yet achieved worldwide dominance? Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below as well. Next, company registration. Sarah Moore was registered on April the 3rd, according to my findings on whois.com, confirming when it came into existence as against the purported 2008. So this directly means that the story about Sarah Moore being established in 2008 is false. There is no way an e-commerce company will be launched in 2008 and its presence online will be conspicuously missing until 2020. That is almost 12 years of zero online presence after the establishment of the company, which is very, very unlikely. On the other hand, chimall.net which is the current parent company has been found to be registered on june 11 2020 is chimo an e-commerce site or a networking company quite frankly it is both it is quite an interesting business model i must say they sell regular products like all those on other e-commerce websites like amazon jumia etc however to buy their quantum products which are a special category of products they have to be an affiliate and it's only affiliates that can benefit from the money possible to be made from the new retail as well how sustainable is Chimo company? I am about to give you my own thoughts. I think this company will last because aside the network marketing aspect of the business, they still have a really burgeoning e-commerce side of the business. So I think they'll be around for a while, but don't take my word for it. Whatever the situation, always put in money that you can afford to lose. One of the pros of the new retail side of the business, by the way, is that you do not need to bring in people to earn. Unlike most networking business where your profit is tied to the people you bring in, in new retail, the income is somewhat steady, 15% every month or so. The truth is that that is a lot of percentage to promise all your investors every month. That is a very huge red flag, by the way. For a company to pay out 15% to every investor every 10 days, then the company has to be growing exponentially to sustain that. I have said this before, but I'll repeat it again in this video. The biggest companies in the world give at most 10% yearly in profit. Let that sink in. Always keep that in mind. And that good question is, why the merger happened? What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section below. But here is an opinion of one of Chimo's affiliates. If Sari Mo merged with Chimo, why should Sari lose its identity or name to Chimo? There is nothing in the present name Chimo to show that Sari merged with Chimo. I reviewed Chimo website with scamdog.com and scamadvisor.com and here's what I found. Chimo website is rated very low on scamdog.com, 3%. This is a very bad trust score. Although scamadvisor.com rated it very high, 100%, it warned users that the site is new. Company products. Like I said earlier, Chimo is just like most other e-commerce sites with a touch of network marketing to the mix. On their website, you can get a lot of generic stuff, just what you will find on a regular e-commerce site. In addition, one can buy quantum products. However, purchase of quantum products is reserved for affiliates only. Compensation plan. Most of the money made as an affiliate comes from buying and selling of quantum products. You buy the products at wholesale prices from the company and then the company sells them at retail prices for you. Chimo e-commerce will place the products on the company's online platform for retail trade and they will start a 10 days countdown for you. On the 10th day, your capital invested and your profit from the sold goods will automatically drop for you and you can cash out or roll it over for another 10 days. Social Media Presence Chimo has a social media presence. They are on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Conclusion Whether or not Chimo is a scam or if it is legit is really a tough question. So far on this channel, this is a really tough one to crack. 
If it is a scam, the owners have really gone to an extreme to make it look legit. In fact, they eventually ended up creating a business. There are products and services here, which is one really quick litmus test, almost sufficient in differentiating scams from legit businesses. So, on a scale of 1 to 100, I will give Chimo 55% legit score. Because there are some red flags which have already been discussed in the video. But let me know your thoughts on Chimo in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video, my friends. Cheers.